In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply trims around your window reveals. This entire bathroom has been cladded with the plastic UPVC panelling all the way around. And where it meets the window reveals, you've got a cut edge and that's got to be covered. So I'm going to be fitting a white UPVC trim around all four edges of the window reveal. Now you can start by measuring your window from corner to corner. Now I'm going to cut these pieces down to length but at a 45 degree angle so they fit snugly around the corners. I'm using a mitre and block and a hacksaw. Hold it into position and cut it through. Now you've cut your first piece to length, place it into position and check that it fits top and bottom. If you're happy with that, cut a second piece and place that into position. Once you're happy with both of them, use some masking tape and temporarily fix them into position. Then you can measure the bottom and the top piece and cut this down at a 45 degree angle. Now your bottom piece is cut, place that into position and see if it fits snugly with your left and right hand length. If you're happy with that, do the same on the top. The next stage is now to glue them into position. Do make sure all the areas that you're fixing anything to are clean, dry and dust and oil free. Just using one of the 3C silicone wipes to make sure it's clean tissue to dry it off. I'm going to fix these into position using multi-use. It's crystal clear and it's an all-in-one adhesive and sealant. Now due to the nature of this cladding it's hollow in some areas so you don't have to do this but I just prefer it to strengthen it a little bit. I'm actually going to fill that hollow bit and it'll allow our adhesive to grab even better into it. And even below there, we need to cut that little bit too short. And now this can be placed on nice and gently in one corner. Lower down into the other, and just gently press it into position, making sure that it's in line with this corner and this corner, because we've got them fixed temporary into the right position. Pressing it down, you might get a little bit of the adhesive oozing out, but I think I've got just enough on there, it's not actually oozing out anywhere. And once I'm happy with that, again, I'm going to take my very low tack tape and just push that across that area there just to hold that into position until it's dry and it just stops you when you're working around it knocking it as well so I think it's quite important to get a little bit of tape on these so then the next stage is now to remove the tape off your sides apply the glue on in the same manner and place it into position Place it to the bottom, take it into that corner, and very gently just pressing it against both sides of the panels, the main wall itself and the reveal, making sure you're getting that corner line up quite nicely there. If any adhesive does ooze out of the sides, just give that a little wipe off with your silicone wipe. And if you're happy that's in position, continue with your masking tape just to temporarily hold that there until the adhesive is dry. It's got really good grab properties to it anyway, but I just prefer to put the bit of tape on because when you're working around it, you might knock it before it's dry. Now multi-use can be quite forgiving even in slightly damp conditions. It can be used to stick together or bond aluminium, galvanised and stainless steel, zinc, copper, natural stone, glass, wood, brickwork and of course plastic and new PVC like this. That's how easy it is to fix down your plastic trims. If you're looking for more inspiration, check us out on all social media handles and subscribe to Free Sea Sealants on YouTube. 
But if you just want to know more about the vast range of products that they supply, check out their website.